Do you want to learn how to heal your body of allergic reactions and no longer have allergies during the spring, fall, some summertime? Would you like to no longer have food allergies? Today I want to share with you a story about one of my clients and how he overcame allergies and ultimately healed his body from within so as to no longer have allergic reactions. So I began about in 2017, and uh, this man was a part of one of my online courses that I was teaching, and he then scheduled some coaching with me. And during our first coaching session, he said, uh, Silas, I would like to overcome allergies. I, I I'm sick and tired of sneezing all the time, and uh, I've got a running nose, and my eyes are watering, and it's, it's obnoxious. And this happens every year, every fall. And I said, well, absolutely, I can help you overcome these allergies. That's, that's simple, it's a simple, uh, simple problem and it can be overcome in a really simple way. And he's kind of shocked that this would be a simple thing to fix. But as our coaching began, I told him, I said, you have to think greater than you feel. And he was trying to wrap his head around this statement. You have to think greater than you feel. And he says, how am I going to think greater than I feel? And he was really struggling to implement some of these practices that I was showing him, really struggling to implement them because his old patterns and habits were persisting. In order to change something in your physiology, you have to change it in your psychology and in order, and part of changing it in your psychology is actually changing how you uh, psychologically feel and therefore your body will actually begin to change how it feels. And so this struggle was real for months, for months. But eventually I convinced him and I helped him learn how to choose his thoughts. And so he, in one of our sessions, we were talking about choosing your thoughts carefully and being creative with your thoughts. And every thought is a creative seed that is ultimately being harvested in your body, um, in, your, and, and in your existence, in the world around you. And so he began to learn how to choose his thoughts. And instead of thinking with the old patterns, I am allergic, I'm always allergic, this is always what happens, and repeating those same patterns he actually began to start overcoming those old patterns and those old thoughts and began to think much differently. Like, I don't have to have allergies. I, it doesn't have to be this way. I'm not my body, but I can create within it. And so he started really choosing his thoughts carefully. And then another, the second thing that I began to teach him was how to conjure up emotion or feelings. And so he began to take the new thoughts that he was having I don't have allergies. And he began to feel what it would feel like within, emotionally feel what it would feel like to not have allergies. And visualize, see himself in this picture that he was creating in his mind of himself living life without allergic reactions to the air. And so he began to practice that. And then the third thing was he began to really implement one of the most important things, and that is his words. And the power of life and death are in your words. And he began to really change this as well as through, with, my, with the help of my coaching. And within about six months, he had completely overcome his allergies. He felt great and continues to feel great today. So the three steps, here are the three steps that are vital for you. I just shared them with you, but I'm gonna break them down again so that you can remember them and that you can begin to implement them in your life. And if you want some help beyond that, drop a comment below, I'll be glad to talk to you. But the three things are thoughts. Choose your thoughts carefully and creatively. You get to choose how you think. Your thinking does not have to just happen. If you're struggling with this, I strongly encourage the Metaphysical Mindfulness class, which is really going to help you begin to overcome some of those, um, the crowded mind that causes you to not be able to really see the thoughts that are already going on in it. I'll drop a link below for that. Feelings. So the second thing is feelings. 
not only do you get to choose your thoughts, but you get to conjure up through those thoughts the feelings of the desired, the desired fulfillment. And then the third thing is words. Words are essential. Self-talk is important. I feel good. I feel wonderful. I, I don't say I don't have allergy, but I feel good. I feel great. I am healthy. Um, I do, you know, those are affirmative words that need to be said and need to be programmed into your existence. Now, as you do these three things, here's what ends up happening. Like him, you will overcome your allergies, but you need to stay consistent in them because what's actually happening is you're reprogramming at a cellular level. Um, within all of those atoms, we have all these biophotons in our body that are passing along energy and passing along information. And when those begin to pass along the information of I, th this pollen or whatever's in the air is not a problem to me, I don't have to be allergic to anything, then all of a sudden it begins to rewrite some of that cellular, some of those cellular issues uh, that have impacted your body. In order to do that, you really have to program first consciously and then sub and then sear it into your subconscious, reprogram your subconscious to believe this to be your reality and really feel this reality. The challenge is to feel something different than what you are already feeling. In other words, to feel what you feel like in the future, not what you're presently experiencing. To think greater than you presently feel. So I hope this helps. If uh, Again, if you would like some help with anything, just drop your comments below. I'd love to hear from you and uh, be sure to subscribe. Hope you have a beautiful day. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Thank <laughs> you.